Pixiebricks is a low-code platform for customizing the user experience of any site on the web. You can do this by combining bricks. In this video, I'll share a series of examples that showcase the 10 most commonly used bricks, listed here. I'll use these bricks to improve the UX of a website you're probably familiar with, LinkedIn. The first brick I'll point out is this button, which I've configured to run a YouTube search of the company, in this case Amazon. When I click the button, Pixiebricks reads the company name from the page and executes a search action. Therefore, this button example really combines three bricks. A button, a reader, and a search action. The next brick you'll see is this highlight action, which is the green line that I've configured to appear if the company is hiring. In this case, Pixiebricks searches the page for recent job openings and highlights the company if any are found. You can also hide or modify elements. The next brick is a panel. Panels can capture inputs, like this one which I'll use to annotate the page. Panels can also show outputs, including charts and tables. Next, I'll show a side drawer, which I can expand by clicking the Pixiebricks icon. I've configured the side drawer to read the company name, hit the Hacker News API, and return any articles that include the company name. Next, I'll show a right-click menu. This brick allows me to execute actions from the drop-down. For example, I can run a Wikipedia search on any text I highlight. Next, I'll show the pop-up form, which you can activate from the right-click menu or a button. The form can capture information you type in, text you highlight, and page details, and send this data off to another application. In this example, I'll send the highlighted text, page URL, and a custom note to Drafts, which is a local desktop application for note-taking. Last but not least, I'll show a trigger. Triggers execute actions based on user behaviors, like clicks and scrolls. For example, I created a trigger that performs a Google Finance search when I click the stock ticker. You can also use triggers to look for certain behaviors and create an audit log. Building actions like these in Pixiebricks is easy. Here's how to configure the YouTube search button. I'll start by opening the Pixiebricks page editor in the DevTools. First, place a button. Second, add a reader. Third, configure the search action. Now, let's test it out. And there it is. In summary, We've demonstrated examples that involve 10 different bricks, but you can also combine bricks with outside services, like webhooks and APIs. In this way, Pixiebricks acts as the last mile delivery of integrated services to the end user, delivering them with more context on the right screen and at the right time.